Sonny Donnelly, IFL TV in association with MTK Global. I'm at York Hall today for the Matchroom Show. No. Uh, with me, I've got the source himself, Mr. Penny Boys, Lawrence Akoli. <laughs> How are you? Yeah. I'm good, thank you, Shima. Um, two rounds there, well, yeah. round a bit. Mm. Um, got the stoppage. Not the, the best uh, calibre of opponent, and not yeah. the, but like I said, you're still learning. But yeah. um, got the job done today. Yeah, that's the main thing. End of the year, good seven facts, good nine months as a professional, picking up as much learning as we can. Finish the year with a win, and now we can push on to 2018. Um, 2018, February the 3rd. Mm. There seems to be a lot of talk about this fight with Isaac Chamberlain, might as well crack throw on with it. Yeah. Um, he's told numerous media outlets, boxing personnel, that he wants to fight, the fight's done, mm. or that you want to fight, the fight's done. But yeah. From your side, he hasn't signed anything, has he not? I mean, not just my side, Eddie Hearn, our promoter, saying he hasn't signed, we're still waiting on them. And um, I think if the fight doesn't get signed probably this week, a lot of truths will come out about everything that's been going on. But as of right now, I'm happy with how 2017's gone, and I'm just focused on whoever I fight February the 3rd, being the best version of myself and getting the job done. Obviously a Wednesday night um, mm. midweek fight, so it sort of take, pretty takes you back to the amateurs, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. But it's, it's interesting as a professional, day before way in press conference, it sort of changes up the way that your week, my weeks usually go, where the fights usually on Friday or Saturday. But, you know, it's all about learning, isn't it? Did you enjoy it? Yeah, it was good, you know, now I get to rest up tomorrow. And, and you get the weekend off? You can yeah, trust. And it's my birthday this weekend. Is it? Yes. What day's your birthday? The 16th of Saturday. Where you going? Where we at? Uh, I might have a quiet one in. Who knows? Quiet one in? Who knows? Can I take you out? I think you're going to Essex. I don't know if I'm ready. For I think you're going to Essex night out. out. I don't know. I don't know if I'm ready. I think you'll be all right. <laughs> um, Katie Taylor, uh, yeah. top in the bill tonight. Yeah. Um, a female world champion, top yeah. in the bill, making history a little bit. Absolutely, and it's great to even be on the undercard here. I can't wait to actually watch. I'm excited. She's got a good, strong opponent here, so it's going to show a lot about her. And it's a good opportunity for Katie Taylor to, you know, really put on a great performance. Um, there's been a lot of talk about the heavyweight division yesterday. Mm. Mr. Tyson Fury cleared yeah. by the UK mm. anti-doping, uh, so he's free to fight. Obviously, yeah. he's got a long road ahead to lose the weight he's got, but um, potentially, if that super fight did happen between yeah. him and your friend Josh, I mean, how could you see that one going? I mean, my friend Josh, damn you, so you already know which way I'm meaning. Um, I think it, it depends how well Tyson Fury comes back after this layoff. It could be uh, an interesting fight in the sense that. You know, Fury's long, awkward, but I think Joshua's mentality and uh, ferociousness will be what gets him the victory in that fight. Is there any heavyweight you can see troubling Joshua at the minute? Um, not at the moment. On the nice, obviously, De um, Deontay Wilder is you know a dangerous fight for anybody, but you know with simple boxing, um, I think he'll do great. And it got announced uh, earlier today that it looks like Canelo versus. Uh, Golovkin too will yeah. be happening. Okay. They don't know where, Texas, yeah. maybe Las Vegas, mm. sometime in May. Yeah. Um, the rematch, obviously the first one was a draw. Yeah. People had it going either way. How can you see that one going? Um, it was a good fight last time. It depends if Triple G is the same, I think Triple G will win. Yeah. I mean, that was a fight that people were looking forward to on the weekend. There was a fight that people were looking to, forward to. Yeah. A little bit of a... Uh, Bitter, bitter ending, yeah. uh, Lomachenko versus Rigondeaux. Mm. Um, what did you make of the fight? Did he quit? Um, I mean, the TKO you know, shows that he did quit, but I don't think it's a case of that like, he can be too hard on him, do you know what I mean? Um, we don't know what's really going on in the corner, in the camp, whatever, but obviously Lomachenko, bigger, you know, great fighter, so it's a good win for him. People give boxers stick when they don't, when they sort of pull out with injury, not sort of, but like an injury that you can't tell. Like when O'Hara said he had whatever mm. problem he had when he fought Josh Taylor, people give him stick and said he, yeah. he sort of like... Quit or whatever, quit. yeah. And now they're saying the same for, for Rigondeaux. Mm. Um, do you think it's a shame that, that in boxing you've either got to be knocked spark out or, or lose on points if people just say, oh, fair enough, he lost? That's the sport that we're in, do you know what I mean? I thought that like, you can't knock the fans and you can't knock the boxers for winning that. That's the mentality you're taught in the gyms, that's the mentality you're taught everywhere. Obviously, I hope never to be in that position, but that's what you're taught and that you have to be savage. And if you live by the gun, you'll die by the gun. So the same way you want to go and get the knockouts, that you might have to go out the same way. All right, well, listen, well done tonight. You got the win. You. Enjoy your birthday. Enjoy yes, Christmas. Yes. Um, we'll come back for a big 2018. Hopefully that fight gets signed and I'll see you and Isaac mm. in the ring on the 3rd of February. But if not, we'll see what happens. But until then, That's Isaac Chang... Oh, Isaac Chang, I was called you. Cool. I do apologise. Nah, I mean, Lawrence and Coley. Nah. Thank you for the iPhone TV and I'll catch up with you soon. Cool. Thank you.